Hi everybody. I know it's been a minute since I've been on here to give you guys the word, but I was just thinking and, and seeking God because I know what a great responsibility it is to get before you guys and present the word of God and I'm just reflecting on like my childhood youth up to now and it's so crazy. I remember as a child, my dad would take me and my best friend and my sister and brother. Um, we would they would take us to um, church, and the way um, church was as a child to the way church is now, it's completely different. I remember when I would go to church and we would hear a message. It wasn't um, speaker friendly. It was. Everybody open up your Bible, um, and now everybody has their phones, and um, it's a, uh, it's like they could get a book and they could read it from us, they can read a sermon from a book, and it's not them actually, the pastor spending the time in the Bible, and, and uh, or getting a word from the Holy Spirit. Um, I would go to church, and if I, I acted a certain way during the week, I, the message would be a message of repentance, and the pastor would always give an opportunity for the people in the congregation to get right with God. And I don't see that anymore. It's very rare. I mean, there's still churches out there, but I mean, it's, re it's really, really rare because now the messages are, people are coming to church to fill me up, God, fill me up, songs, fill me up. What about God? I want to be your sacrifice. I want to come to you and I want to present myself to you as a living sacrifice not not gimme 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 let me it's it's a messed up society that we're living in and just like the video I posted the other day about the seven churches we are the church of Laodicea we're so lukewarm we don't have a desire to seek God's face anymore and we we have this image of Jesus is is what he can do for us and not what we could do for him. He said, go into all the world and preach the gospel, not go into all the world and me, 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 me. Um, but I wanted to bring um, a verse to you. We see Jesus in the Bible in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, and we, we see him as a man. But I want to bring you to Revelations, and I want to read you of what... Jesus looks like in a heavenly perspective. If you go to Revelation chapter 1, and look, I'm going to take you to uh, verse 13, and I'm going to read it down to 18. And it says, and I pray, Lord Jesus, open their eyes and give them ears to hear what I'm about to say. Holy Spirit, breathe your word unto the people that are watching this. In Jesus' name, amen. And I turned to see the voice that spoke with me. And being turned, I saw seven golden, golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. Clothed with a garment down to the foot and girded about the paps with a golden girdle. A paps is around the, the, the chest part. So around this chest part, he had um, like a it was it was golden. His head and his hair were white like wool. So picture of Jesus, his hair is white like wool, and as white as snow. It says in the, I believe it's in Isaiah. It says, "Though your sins be like scarlet." I will make you whiter than snow. <laughs> his head and his hair were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet like unto fine brass, as they were burned in a furnace, and his voice was the sound of many waters. And he had in his right hand seven stars, and out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword with a countenance in his and his countenance was as the sun shining in his strength. So when he spoke, it, it went out like a two-edged sword. If you go into Hebrews 4.12, it says the word of God is, is quicker than a two-edged sword. <laughs> um, and when I saw him, I fell, I fell as dead. And he laid his hand upon me, saying, Fear not, I am the first and the last. 
I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And I have the keys of hell and of death. That's our Jesus in heaven. That's our Jesus that we're, we're waiting for. We see Jesus in a different way as a man, but this, this, is, this is the Jesus that we are going to see when he comes back in the clouds in his glory. Um, I just ask those that watch this that if you, that God would just bring you back to the way you were when you were younger, when you actually had a heart to seek the Lord's face. Because not everybody's the same. The society, the culture is different than when I was a kid. Was I was being raised up in the 90s. Now we're in the 2000s. So my niece and nephew's generation is different from what I experienced. And I just pray in the name of Jesus that the spirit of holiness would go through this video and touch the lives, Father God. And that you would bring your salvation, because salvation is of the Lord. And you would reveal yourself to the people that are watching this right now. Talk to them in, the, in their dreams. Talk to them in the midnight hour. Give them open visions, Father God. It's not about us, Jesus. It's about you. It's not about us, Jesus. It's about you. So I pray right now, breathe back that passion they once had for you. Give them a passion, Father God, for the loss. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.